it appears that sometime after the fourth century, a longer ending of Mark, including the resurrection appearances, had been inserted into the official Bible text. The arrival of Sinaiticus was an absolute bombshell in Victorian society and in the world, not just of theology, but across the whole community. For the first time, it could be demonstrated without any doubt to the scholarly mind that the end of Mark, as people had known it for hundreds of years, was not the end as Mark had written it. That meant that there was a real doubt about all of the Gospels. Ladies and gentlemen, I have my Bible here. And as I look down at the Bible here, Mark chapter 16, verses 9 to 20, if you look at a note in the Bible, you'll notice that the earliest manuscripts did not have that ending of Mark. That's true. However, there's nothing in the ending of Mark, verses 9 to 20, that isn't taught elsewhere in the scriptures, except maybe for snake handling. That's why I don't advise it. In any event, everything that's taught in Mark 16, verses 9 to 20 is elsewhere in the scriptures. And the resurrection occurs in Mark 16, verse 6. That is in the earliest manuscripts, so there's nothing to worry about here.